Welcome! Today I'd like to talk about proof of blind bid. Proof of blind bid is a fundamental building block of segregated bids and in agreement, the decentralized algorithm that allows nodes to achieve consensus within the Dask network. At its core, a consensus algorithm is a protocol that aims to achieve a common agreement consensus among all nodes about which block of transactions gets processed at each round. Segregated Byzantine agreement foresees two different phases during each round. One is the generation phase, where potential round leaders submit their own block of transactions to the network. The other is the block validation phase, where a committee of validators called provisioners elect the winning block to be added to the blockchain in a permanent and final manner. The proof of blind bid algorithm governs the generation phase while protecting the privacy of the generators. As such, it can be considered a cryptographic evolution of proof of stake, sharing much of its mechanisms in practice, but with the additional benefit of confidentiality. The satisfaction of the confidentiality condition required Dust Network's research team to develop an advanced zero-knowledge proof system. This because no proof system had the capability of combining proofs of a variety of statements and had the performance we needed to process a satisfying number of transactions per second. Such research culminated with the release of the most advanced implementation of the Plonk proof system to date. To safeguard the privacy of a stake while simultaneously preventing the staker from cheating, the proof of blind bid follows a series of steps. Let's walk through each step one by one. Step one. The procedure begins when a participant propagates something called a bid transaction. Bid transactions include the following information. The amount of dusk to be staked and two, a string of bytes called the secret. In this first step, we have a clear example of Dusk Network's keen focus on privacy. We see the identity of the participant remaining private through the creation of a stealth address. The amount to be staked remaining private through a so-called Pedersen commitment. The secret K remaining private through hashing. The bit transaction is stored in the bit contract storage, in a so-called Poseidon tree to be precise, and remains valid for a number of rounds. From this point on, the participant who propagated the bit transaction is able to participate in the second step, the blind bit lottery. Step 2. The participant runs a non-interactive lottery by executing the generate score procedure. This function takes as input the amount of dusk committed in step 1 and a pseudonymous identity. Once this has been input, it returns a score. This score is a number that is probabilistically linked to the amount of dusk committed. In essence, the winner of the lottery is the one with the highest score. The higher the initial stake, the higher the probability to obtain a higher score. Step 3. Zero knowledge proof generation. The participant creates a zero knowledge proof of blind bid using an algebraic circuit that requires a complex zero knowledge proof of several statements that all need to be proven true simultaneously. The statements are the ones you can see on my right side. The bidder must prove that the lottery score has been generated for the current consensus step, round and seed. The bidder must prove to have knowledge of the hash of the bid transaction. Of course, in order to do any proof of the content of the bid, the bidder must first prove the knowledge of the bid. The bidder must then prove knowledge of the path of the bid to the root of the Poseidon tree. As before, the Poseidon tree, which is a Merkle tree hash with the Poseidon hashing algorithm, functions as a big contract storage for the bid transaction. Proof of knowledge of the path without leaking the path preserves the anonymity of the bid and proves the inclusion into the tree. The inclusion into the tree means that the bid has been submitted and is currently valid. The bidder must prove that the bid contains an amount of dusk that is within the acceptable range for a bid. The bidder must prove to know the secret K embedded in the bid. Knowing this K proves ownership of the bid in the same way that knowing a password proves ownership of an account or, or a service. And finally, the bidder must prove that the score has been calculated correctly by inputting the score generation function with the amount of dusk equivalent to that staked in the bid. And that's the process.
All the statements that the bidder must prove are covered in a single proof that is easy to create and super fast to verify thanks to the Dusk Network's Plunk library. Neither the bidder's identity nor the content of the bid are leaked to the committee of validators. Every time a consensus must be achieved, the bidder verifies whether the score produced during the iteration is greater or equal than the minimum score threshold. If it is greater, the bidder generates a new block, a one-time stealth identity, and the proof of blind bid. Then, the bidder submits these parameters together with the score obtained to the committee of provisioners for that round. The block associated with the highest score is elected by the provisioners to be the leader for the current iteration of the consensus. I hope this demonstration has helped to shed some light on block generation in our workings. Stay tuned for our next video and tot since.